Welcome everyone. We are going to have a watercolor class today. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much to ACC, which is a community of caring. They provide lots of different support for seniors in the greater Sacramento area. And then also thanks to the Renaissance Society of Sac State. They also provide lifelong learning classes, great community of seniors. So let's, um, let's get creative today. I can see lots of folks that are joining us. That's wonderful. This is being recorded. So if you miss any of it, I'll be sending out a link. And I think that uh, Sean will probably tell you how to access it. Uh, he might tell you the YouTube channel. That's where the recording's gonna be. Let's talk about supplies. My name's Kathy Hart, sorry. Yeah. Let's talk about supplies. So I have um, watercolor brushes. They are around. Um, I think I've got a size 8 and a size 5. Doesn't matter. I want you to use whatever size you have. I'm all about using what you have access to just to enjoy the creative process. If you have a Crayola watercolor paint set, you can do this. So um, you've got some watercolor, at least one watercolor brush. You have some paper, you can use regular paper. This happens to be uh, what I have is actually what we're going to do a little later today. I'm using watercolor paper, but you can use cardstock, you can use photocopy paper, it doesn't matter. You will get a better result if you use better, higher quality um, supplies. We're going to need a pencil with an eraser and then some kind of marker, black marker, because this is a doodle today. We're not going to be working on fine art. We're going to do watercolor floral fall doodles. You'll need some water in a cup and you also need watercolor paints. So I'm gonna show you, I have a student grade uh, paint set here. It's really easy for me to travel with, so I brought it down when I came to ACC today. Um, I'm enjoying their beautiful studio here. We have a an, an live audience that will be participating in addition to our um, Zoom class, but any sort of watercolor watercolor set is fine and if you just have three or four colors that's fine you can start with that see if you like it you can always upgrade your, your supplies one of our participants here today actually didn't have watercolors so we took some acrylic paint and watered it down and that's what she'll be using today so watercolor doodles what are they and how do they work they actually we start with a very basic we might want a close-up of these sean we start with a very basic shape and then we're going to go on top of it with the marker i'm just showing you some examples of very simple florals here's a close-up of a flower and another one so I'm going to teach you three different styles, and this is the painting we're going to finish today, this morning. The class is about an hour long. All right, so let's get started. What I want to explain to you first, we'll go to overhead camera, is the first, which is the simplest. Now, I'm going to draw in marker so you can see, but... You, when you draw these on your paper, you're actually going to do it in pencil. But I want to explain how we're going to do it and then show you the drawing. First of all, we're going to paint basically a U-shaped. We don't worry about it being straight across the top. Remember, this is supposed to be a floral. I'm just explaining what we're doing. We're not actually painting yet. Then we're going to go into this color with our marker and we're going to go a long line, a short line, a long line, a short line, just alternating. They don't need to be exact. And then on top of each one of those, we're going to put a dot. And that is this one can't really see all of the lines, but that's what this particular flower is right here. So we start by painting a U 
kind of a cup thing and then after it's dry we go back in and do those lines. That's one of the flowers we're going to make today. I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Would you be able, please, to show us the paper that you do those lines, like this? Would you just show yes, us? Yes, I think it's up there oh. for you to yeah. see. Yeah. So here it is. Thank you. You're I'm welcome. Sure. You're welcome, no problem. The next flower that I want to show you, the painting part is the easiest part. Then when we get into the drawing, I think I'll come back to this one when we're a little closer because that one's just a tiny bit more complicated, not bad, but a little bit. And then the third one we're going to do is simply we're going to make, oh, however many, five or six petals in paint. We're going to outline it and then we're going to do a little top. So those are the flowers we're going to make today. So let's get your watercolor paper or your cardstock or whatever you're going to be painting on and let me show you how we're going to do it. Okay, I'm going to show you. Let's see. I might be able to keep this in the frame. Yes, I can. So here's what we're going to do. Now understand it's your art. So if you want different colors, please use different colors. I just have some fall colors there. Um, actually, the pink isn't super fall, but I have orange and yellow. And let's talk about our paints that we're going to use. For those of you who have watercolor, we're going to, it's called activate your paints. So I'm going to decide what colors I want. I think I'm going to go with um, actually a really light uh, kind of pinkish, red. You, with watercolor you always start out light. You can add darker colors. I'm going to use some orange. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting water in my paints. But what I'm going to do when I actually use the color is I'm going to mix them up here. I'm not going to take them straight from the um, paint well. I'm going to mix a color. So I think I'll start with yellow. That's the, our easiest painting for, for today. I'm going to put it in one of these little wells here because then I can add other color and change it slightly. If you just want to do it from, right from the well, you can. But I'm going to lighten up that, that yellow. The way I lighten it up is I add more water. You should have a paper towel. I don't think I mentioned that. Because if you have too much water on your brush, what you do, let's say I go in here and I've got too much paint and too much water. I'm just going to dab on my paintbrush, I'm sorry, on my paper towel, and that'll take some of the water out. So let's start with our easiest, our easiest flowers. And let me show you again how we're going to do it. We're just going to paint this shape, kind of a cup shape, a little bit uneven across the top. And on your paper, it's always nice to have an uneven number, an odd number of, of items. So I'll probably do three. So I'm just going to make three, uh, three little cup looking things on this page. I think I'll do one over here. See, I'm just kind of making a shape there. I'm not worried about it being straight. Okay, that's one of my yellow flowers. I'm going to make one at a little bit of an angle. So we're just kind of sketching in with the watercolor. Two or three or however many that you want. Don't put them all in a line though. That, that doesn't look very natural. You kind of want to spread them out. So I've got three on my um, on my paper, what I'm going to do now is go in with a, I just have a slightly darker yellow because I want to just add a little bit of embellishment. So at the bottom of each of those buds, I'm just kind of tapping in this darker yellow. And I think I'll even do a little bit darker color just to make it a little bit interesting. I didn't do that in my, the painting that I uh, prepared for today, but I kind of feel like having it a little varied and 
in this one. So you can see I've added yellow and then a slightly darker yellow. I'm always cleaning my brush in between colors and then tapping off the extra water. Now I'm just kind of adding a little bit of water to help that watercolor move on the paper. Okay, so I've got my three cup shapes. And now I'm going to go in and do the larger blooms. I want this one, uh, for me, I want this one to be a little larger. It's kind of a focal one. I'm doing three. You do however, however many you want in whatever colors interest you. But I'm going to kind of do a pink, and I think I'm going to put a little bit of burgundy in there because the pink isn't really fall. Let's see what burgundy looks like. It might be too dark. Let me see. If you want to test it, just take a piece. That's pretty dark. Um, just take a plain piece of paper and test your color on it. Okay, that's better. The way I lightened that up is I just added water. Okay, so what I'm going to do, very technical term, I'm going to put a paint blob on my paper. I don't want it a perfect circle. I want it a little bit uneven, but it needs to be the size that you want your ultimate flower to be. So I'm just going to paint three little blobs that, um, of the paint that I've put over here in my, in my uh, paint well. And I'm just going to kind of make a little bit of an irregular, this one's almost going off the page, and I'm going to fill in that blob. See how that's a little irregular, no sharp edges. Just a little kind of curvy around, around the uh, perimeter. That's one. I'm going to do a bigger one here kind of in the middle. Kind of just a blob. This one has a little bit more edges. And then I'm going to fill it in. So I have two, and I think I'll put one up here, a little smaller. Anyone can do these paintings, watercolor doodles. So when you have however many you want, I'm going to let that dry a minute and I'm going to come back and actually put something darker in the center. But let's talk briefly about how we're going to paint these petals on our next one. Let's see, I think I'm going to use orange for that one. Okay, when I put my orange out, I think, wow, that is really, really bright. It's a little too bright for me, so I want to dull it a bit. So you can add either a little brown to make it not quite so bright. If you're working on a color, that's better. That's actually pretty brown, but that's okay. That'll work. Okay, let's talk about, I'm going to switch to a slightly smaller brush. I'm going to load up my brush. Now the way we're going to do a petal is we're going to start by very light pressure and drag it a little bit and then a lot of pressure and then lift up. Let's see. Oops, wrong way. So we're going to start. I'm going to actually switch colors. I'll try it in black and see if you can see that better. So I'm loading up my paintbrush, and we're going to do start with light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure, light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure. So barely any pressure, push down, lift up. That's how we're going to make our petals. That's also how we're going to do our leaves. 
You can do it as long or as short as you want. Light, heavy pressure, lift. Okay, so that's how we're going to make the petals of our, um, the flowers that look like this. And I've done five petals, but there's not a right or wrong number of petals. Remember, this is the impression of uh, flowers. This is not, um, okay. this is not fine art. So let's get our color. And we're going to start wherever you decide you want your flowers. I'm going to do one, um, I think I'll do one right here. So I, I'm going to start in the center and bring the petal out. So I'm going to start with a very light touch, pressure, lift. That's my first petal. Then I'm going to go right next to it. And I'm going to start light, pressure, lift. Right next to it, light, pressure, lift. Now I'm going to kind of angle it, light, pressure, lift. And I'm actually going to go back to the beginning. It's okay to turn your paper. Light, pressure, lift. And I'm going a little bit in front of that yellow flower I had there. Perfectly fine. I'm just adding a little color because I've got some color pooling and I kind of want it. You can do whatever color you have. Yep, no right or wrong. Okay, so that's one. And I'll come back in and do the center later. Let's see. I didn't really give myself much room. I think I'll do one right here. So I'm going to start in the center of the flower, and I'm going to pull my leaves away from the center. Light, heavier, pull up. Light touch, heavier, pull up. That one's actually a different size. That's perfectly fine. Light, heavier, pull up. Light, heavier, pull up. And I'll do a fifth one kind of right up there. Let's see. I'm going to leave that one light just because it gives me a little bit of variety in color. That one's actually very dark. I think what I'm going to do with that one is come in here with a paper towel because I feel like it's a little too dark for the painting. It's still wet, so I'm just tapping it. I tapped it with a paper towel, and I have picked up some of the pigment, so now it's not as dark. So that's one way. If you want to do a correction, you could actually just add water over it and it'll pick up a lot of your pigment. I think I'll do at least one more of these orange ones. I'm going to do it right, oh, where am I going to do it? I think I'll do it right here. I'm going to do light, press, up. Light, press, up. Light, press, up. Light, press, up. And it's kind of at an angle, and I might do one more of the orange ones. I'll do one here. Whatever your design is. Okay, and that is pretty much our flowers. Let's put a top on, on the flower that looks like this. Whoops. This is a really quick one, doesn't really look right.
what we're going to do is load your brush with color and we're going to do like a dome of dots on the top. That's the center of the flower. See how I had my petals are in black and then I did a dome of flowers just so you could see it in that dark burgundy. So pick a color that you think would look good with whatever your petals are. And I think what I'll do, hold on, let's see. I'm going to do this dark kind of burgundy. And we're just going to tap, tap, tap a dome. And you can even come down a little bit on your petals, but we're going to just tap, 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 tap some spots to make the center. Sean, you'll tell me if there's a question, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Do you have a question? I do? Yeah. Okay. You know, if you can't, I'd try a, um, maybe a pliers, but I've had that happen and I couldn't get it. So um, maybe even putting the whole thing in water, I didn't try that. I ha had to get rid of some because they were so dried on. So what I do now, and this is, it's a different kind of paint, the, paint, the uh, uh, watercolors that the um, participant is talking about come in tubes. Now this is just another travel um, palette that I have, but I have a large palette and what I did is I squeezed all of my paint out because I have much deeper wells in my other palette. And I, you can let them dry, this is fine. This is dried watercolor paint. All you have to do is add water and you're ready to go. So I learned it the hard way because I lost some of my paints that were in tubes. Now I just squeeze all my paints out if I'm using the tube watercolors. Okay, so before we do our, our stems and our leaves, let's, um, let's draw on your, where is it? Let's draw your flowers that right now are just big blobs. Okay, so I'm going to do it a couple of times. It's a five petal flower. So let's say that my, I'm going to do this in pencil. Here's my paint. I'm going to do that. Hopefully you'll be able to see it, but you'll know it's not my, okay, you can't really see it. Let me see if I lift it up. Nope, it's just really bright. Okay, I'll do it in. I'll do it in my marker. Here's where your paint is. Don't, don't actually do any of this line. This is just where your paint, remember your blob. That's your blob, blob of paint. Now on top of it, I'm going to show you how to draw the petals, five petals. We're going to go irregular shapes, kind of out to the end and bring a point back. And then what I do is kind of skip a petal and come over here and do an irregular shape back into the center. Now, because I kind of get my shape, I'm going to do the one, this one right next to it. This is what I will be drawing with my marker. That's a third one. And then I'll just connect these two. And I'll connect this one with a bigger petal, but I'm going to show you one thing I'm going to do with this petal. Now, you could just leave it like that. That's fine. But I want to um, show you how to make it look like there's a little bit of a curve in your petal, so it gives it a little dimension. And all you have to do there is come back over and give a little arch like that. So it kind of looks like the petal is curving. You do not have to do that last line. Let me show you again. Here's the blob, which we are not doing 
I just want you to see, that's actually very circular. Hopefully the, the paint blob is a little more irregular, but it'll work even if it's like this. So I'm gonna start with an irregular petal on one side coming into the center. I'm gonna do five. I'm not gonna do a fold this time. I'm gonna skip one and I'm gonna go to another, the other side and just kinda do an irregular, and it almost looks like a heart. Then I'm gonna come down here, kinda irregular down there. I'll connect these two and I'll connect this one. And that's what I'm going to draw, the petal part with my marker. So let's try it on our painting. We're gonna bring our painting back. Hopefully it's dry now. If it isn't, you can always blast it. I have a um, little dryer here. So for the folks, mine's dry though. But if yours isn't, you can blast it with a dryer or you can just wait another minute. I'm gonna take my uh, fine tip marker, my black marker, and I'm going to um, draw in the petals. I am not going to trace my blob. You can see right here, I did not trace the blob. I just did the petals. And in the middle is where I'm gonna have one folding over, but the others are just gonna be five petals. Okay, so I'm gonna start um, not on my center one, but I'm gonna start with one of my, I'm gonna kind of start in the middle and I'm just gonna make a petal irregular shape. That's my first one. Then I'm gonna skip a spot and I'm gonna come over here and do a second one. Come down here. Now I'm just gonna connect them. And, and then I'm just gonna connect it. So I have a five petal flower. Now I'm gonna do this one next. I'm gonna do my middle one last. You can do it in any order that makes sense for you. Again, I'm starting in the middle. I'm gonna make an array. Now I don't wanna copy the exact placement of this one. I wanna make it just a little bit different because they're rarely exactly the same. So I've done one petal. I'm gonna skip a little space. Irregular shape, do another one. Come down here. That's three, and then I'm just gonna connect one and two, so I have five petals. Two of my blobs now have petals on top. Now I'm gonna do my middle one, and that's where I'm gonna do a folded over on my bottom left petal, right here. You don't have to do that. So again, I'm gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna go out, irregular shape. I'm gonna skip a little space, do my second one. And then a third petal. And I'm gonna come back up to the top and I'm gonna just connect one there. And then I'm gonna do kind of a wide Connecting there, and I'm gonna come back across from edge to edge, not really quite to the edge, and I'm just gonna do another line to give it a folded look. So those are our three blobs that are now doodle flowers. So let's do our cup shape. And if you remember what we do is we come back in, we've already got this painted. We're not going to draw the outline, we're just going to draw the lines with the dots, alternating long, short, long, short, long, and you can make those, un you know, they don't have to be the exact. See how this one's much shorter? That's fine. It's a doodle. So find your ones that are shaped like a cup, make sure they're dry. And you don't even necessarily go all the way to the top. So I'm gonna just go, and I'm just gonna leave a little bit of space up at the top, 
and I'm going to go along one end with a line that's a long one and then right next to it I'm going to draw a short one and kind of join it almost at the same place and then I'm going to do another long one and I'm giving a slight curve that helps give the appearance of rounded now it's in the middle so I'm going to go a little straighter and then I'm going to curve the other way a long one a short one and then my last long one again slightly curving so that's what my lines look like And I'm going to put dots at the top of each of those lines. Just a little black dot. You don't have to. It's a doodle. You can do whatever you want. You could put hearts. You could do dashes. You could do many, many, many more lines. I'm just showing you a simple, simple doodle. I'm going to do that to my other two flowers that are shaped like a bowl. Starting at the bottom, I'm going to go up with a long one. Okay, that one didn't. There we go. Then I'm curving it and my short one, my pen's giving me trouble here. Then a long one and a short one and a long one, short and long. And then I'm going to go back in and do dots. I'm making my dots a little bigger. I actually think I kind of like that. So my pen's giving me a little trouble on this one. So that's my doodle there and I'm going to do my third one. Curved lines alternating. Big little. And then going in with my dot on top. So all, I have three of the bowl shaped. All of mine have the lines with the dots. And all my blobs have the petals drawn in. So now I'm going to do my five petaled flowers where we did light, press, lift with the centers. And what I'll be doing, okay, that one is not going to work. Let's see, let me show you with a lighter color. Okay, that's just to give you a petal. I'm going to outline it. Okay, these are still wet, so I'm not actually going to go on my paint, but I'm just going to go like this around. Okay. Yeah, you can see it there. I'll do it in my darker marker so you can see. I'm going to go around the petal like this. It's okay if you don't even completely close. Remember, it's a doodle. So I'm just going to go around the petals with your marker. Around your five petals or however many you had. So I'm back to my painting. You can see on this, I've outlined the petals. Okay, that's the part we're going to do now. Outlining those five petals. Again, just like the blob, it's okay if you go over or you don't get all the color. That's fine. That's part of the doodle charm. So I'm just going to outline my petals. Some of them have white at the bottom. Some might not even touch or be closed. That's okay. We're just outlining the petals.
all of the, however many you did on your paper, you want to outline all of those petals. Okay. Now for simplicity, we're going to just use one green for the stems. That's what I did here for the stems and leaves. So again, go ahead. If you have a green that you really like, perfect. I have a green that is, uh, all of my greens are really bright. And I don't want them quite that bright. So I'm going to dull it down again, make it a look a little more natural. I added some of my yellowish brown. Yeah, that's better. See how I just test my colors on my paper. So we're just going to make some stems and then our leaves are the same way that we did it for the petals. We do light, press down to make it fat and then lift up. And then the leaves can be different depending on how long you drag them out. So let's start with stems. You want to just try to use the tip of your paintbrush and I, I, um, I mean you can make straight straight stems but they look a little more natural if there's just a hint of a curve. So here I did a stem just kind of curving a little but you want to make stems on your flowers that you can see and so this is going to be behind my blob so I don't, I paint up at the top and then I skip where my, in, in this case my pink, it's a pink blob, I don't paint over that and then I pick it up here at the bottom to finish the stem. That just shows that the flower is in front of that stem. So I'm just going to do some stems here. Let's see, this one I'll have coming right down here. This one I'll have. Whatever makes sense in your, in your painting. They can cross over. Let's see, I don't have that one coming out. So I've done my stems, kind of a lot of paint there, just tapping it off. Okay, now I'm going to go back in and do my leaves. Remember, just like our petals, we're going to start out light. We're going to start out light to make a little bit of a stem, press and lift. And that's how we do a flower. I mean, a, sorry, a leaf. Okay, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to start out light, press and lift. I'll do a slightly different one here. It's a different flower. I'll drag it a little longer. Drag it and bring it up. Press down and lift up. Start out light, press down and lift up. Or you can do really short ones. I'm just going to add a little bit of color here and there, a little bit of green. You can cross them over. Okay, so I have some stem and leaves. I hope you do too. And we're doing great on time. It is 20 till. So we're just going to do a final few little things, few little tweaks. Go ahead and take your doodle brush that you're um, 
making your lines and your uh, outlining your petals with. I think what we'll do rather than doing mine is not waterproof my uh, marker so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take my pen and let me see I may actually use my darker pen yeah I'm going to just do dots in the middle for a center on my blob I'll show you So I just did dots with my pen to make a center. And I'm going to do that on the three blobs. Okay, so now I have centers on my three that are pink. And with my smaller pen, I'm actually going to do a few little dots on my orange flowers around the center. You could do dots, you could do little curly cues if you want to bring that off anything that makes it just look kind of fun. Yeah, you can't really see that really well, but any sort of little doodle. It's a doodle painting, so we're just going to doodle away. I'm going to do a few curly cues and then put some black dots in there. And what I did on the uh, painting that I made for our class is I did just do a few little lines like on maybe one side of the leaf or along a stem. I didn't outline them really, but maybe just, oops, as a highlight. Or you could do it as in the middle of your leaf. Just trying to show that it's a doodle painting. Now what I do most of the time is I do them a little smaller than this, although this size works, and I will glue this to folded cardstock and have it as a card. So I, I, that's what I do because I, I paint quite a bit. And I don't, I mean, I have some paintings in my house. Actually, I have a lot of paintings in my house. But um, I don't need everything that I do. So I, I would make this into a card and send it to a friend, let them know I'm thinking of them, who doesn't like to get a real card nowadays. But I'm happy to answer any questions before I talk about the class we've got scheduled for next month. If anybody has any questions, anybody here have a question? Question about your brush? Yes. I, cause I, I, I might have missed the first part when you were talking about the brush. But I have these like flat ones and I noticed that yours is more rounder. Yes. Is that what you're using? Yes, this is a round brush. Can we go overhead, Sean? Um, let's see. This all. Can you see how there's a tip there? Yeah. You can do everything that I did today with a flat brush. But this makes the petals where I would say, start out skinny, press, and come up. The round brush makes that much easier, and it's got a tip. So it's called, I, this particular one is size 8. It's a size 8 round. Do you want to see the final piece? Yes, of course. 
So this is the one I did today. Let me lift it up. Oops. Okay, sorry, I have to go backwards of what I think it is. Okay, there we go. So that's what I did today, watercolor floral doodles. Let me just do a shameless plug for the next one. Our next class is October 19th. If you follow me on Eventbrite, you'll see it. It's been posted. For those of you who have joined um, via Eventbrite, if you're a Renaissance Society member, you possibly have signed up for all three classes that I'm doing this semester. Just the main thing is that that will give you access to the Zoom information or you can go on the ACC website. Sean, if you could put that website up. If you wanted to do it in person in the Sacramento area, you do need to register. So Sean will put that um, ACC website information up. But let me show you, we're gonna do something along the line. It's gonna have pumpkins. What else it's gonna have, I don't know exactly. But here are a few pieces I've been just playing with to try to see what works, how quick is it. Can we do it in an hour? But here's kind of a greenish pumpkin, which I like it. It's not traditional, but it's super cute. Here's a, this is just on regular copy paper. This is an orange one. I have some wheat along the side. This one's actually on card stock. So you can say I, I, I practice on all kinds of mediums, especially when I'm just trying to get ideas. And here's one with some red buds. Uh, this one is different in that I used white. I left some white space to make the accents as opposed to putting in a darker line. So there's different ways you can highlight or you can um, distinguish between sections of anything, sections of a flower, sections of a pumpkin in this case, any of those things. But that class is um, available online free or if you register to come in, um, it is free to come to ACC as well, as long as you have registered. So I'm happy to answer any other questions. We've still got 10 minutes. Um, there we go. Thank you. That is the website. If you register online to attend in person, it's fun. It's nice to see people while we practice and while we do the different projects. But I'm all about making art simple, easy to follow. Anyone can do it. You probably haven't, you very possibly haven't done it in a long time. So um, it's just good to have beginner basic techniques and some uh, reminders maybe. Uh, but but we, I do try to teach you at least some techniques as we go through the class so you can hopefully enjoy it on your own. Okay, any other questions? Well, I want to thank everyone who joined us today. It was great to see you. I'd love it if you would show your pictures. Um, that would be great. Show, show me up. Put it up. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, I love it. Yes. Wonderful. Oh, everybody. It's so great to see everyone's creations. Beautiful. Oh, the folks here. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, well, everyone, thank you again for joining us today. Hope to see you next month on the 19th of October. Have a great rest of your week. Take care. Oh, thank you.